So I went out and watched Madam Web last night. Um, I tried to not watch any of the reviews to get, I didn't want to be biased going into it, or at least biased from the sources that I was watching, um, you know, the, the critics on it. Um, so this is in the Marvel Universe. It's a movie by Sony. Of course, you know, Sony owns the Spider-Man, the usage of Spider-Man in that universe. Um, I went into it, you know, I knew it was going to be, I, I did hear that it, it had a kind of agenda. Um, and oh my gosh. Um, so the movie starts out, <clears throat> you've got this, uh, nine month pregnant woman in the Amazon. She's looking for the spider. She's working out of this notebook that she has, despite the spider never being caught. Uh, and she had hand, uh, detailed written notes about the spider. Um, she starts having contractions and she basically says, you know, oh, this is, doesn't matter. This is, this is what I do. You know, this spider could heal hundreds of diseases. Anyway, she's got this guide with her. And guide tells her that there's these mythical creatures. But she says, no, the science, there's no such thing as mythical creatures. Um, so... It turns out the guide was trying to get the spider for himself, and he um, shoots her in the chest. Um, by the way, I should have said that there's spoilers. Obviously, you know there's spoilers now. Sorry about that. Uh, these events, these invisible ghosts start coming out of nowhere. And <laughs> it's pretty, the production is really bad. Um, they're like ghetto Spider-Men with red body paint, and they've got these shitty knitted web body suits on. Anyway, they take her after she's been shot and they take her to the cave where there's this pool and there's a bunch of them in there. And, uh, you know, uh, they take her and uh, the spider, like, uh, follows their orders and bites this pregnant lady, saving her, even though she's got <laughs> a big old uh, hole in her chest from being shot. <clears throat> so the baby is born it's it's good um and it and it cuts to dakota johnson uh who's playing the character um the main character here and it happens to be don johnson's daughter um and i'm saying she looks familiar turns out she's a chick from uh 50 50 shades of gray the movie anyway from the um from the trailer she's this paramedic uh, she falls into this river, supposedly dies, but anyways, gets pulled out and she has this vision. She has deja vu. Um, she has these flashes of deja vu. Anyway, uh, they're introduced, uh, you're introduced to the main villain, who's, of course, this rich man. Uh, this rich man seduces this older woman. Uh, she's hot, but she's a little older. And he's sleeping with her. He's not having sex. At least maybe they kind of uh, allude to they had sex, but they're laying in bed. And uh, she wake, he wakes up from this recurring dream. He says these, these three young girls in superhero costumes kick his ass and throw him off a building. So he's having this vision of falling and dying to his death. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, the The lady wakes up and she's still wearing her bra. Yeah, that's not realistic. Um, uh, so he tells him, of course, he needs he needs to get rid of he needs to kill these uh, kill these three girls. So the the cut the scene. If you've seen, oh shoot, I forget the name of the movie, um, but um, uh, it was it was a graphic novel made into. I'll try to put that in the description later, but if you get the idea of what these, uh, almost, they almost look like children, uh, in these, um, costumes, uh, these superhero costumes when, when they're killing them, um, but they're not, they're these, um, three young ladies that you see later in the movie. Anyways, this guy that, um, he's, 
he's, uh, you know, elicited, uh, not the guy, but the target, the woman that he's got in his bed. Turns out she works for the NSA. So he says to her, um, I'm going to need your password. Um, uh, if you don't give me your password, I'm going to kill you. And then she gives him his password, her password, and he kills her anyway. Um, conveniently, she has her badge and what looks like an, a hardware authentication token with her. Um, so the whole middle part of the movie is um, the um, Don Johnson's daughter's character um, learning about her abilities, which is being able to see the future, although it's not, it's a possible future, I guess, because she's obviously, uh, has the ability to change the outcome. Uh, well, let's get back to the, uh, girls, I mean the women. Um, so I want to make sure I wasn't commenting on minors here, so I looked them up. They're all of age, um, uh, 26, 22, and 25, respectively. Um, so there's this quirky blonde with glasses, very insecure, uh, with, with a very short skirt. There's a Latina midriff showing her belly button. And there's this black bro, uh, girl running from the cops, also in this short belly button revealing shirts. Um, uh, and I have to say they are banging, uh, Sony, uh, should be commended for not getting on the fat ugly train on this one but um tight tight bodies anyway back to the guy he's got these spiders in a cage and they don't even look real they look cgi um he hi so there's this new character comes on um super smart at computers uh hires her to uh use the password and break into nsa and it's so laughable She's got 10 monitors in front of her. And then she they say, oh, she's got access to every camera in America, which is tied into facial recognition to identify everyone. Of course, this guy is to find out what they are. So they're going off of a memory of a dream. They're wearing masks in the dream. And supposedly this is, this is uh, they're older than they are now. Although, how does he know that? Anyway, um they're able to identify them in real time and track them in real time. So crazy stuff. The guy shows up uh, to kill the three girls and he's wearing this janky black Spider-Man suit. He's walking around on the ceiling. This is in a subway. Um, and he's got the Spidey powers. Um, but since Johnson's character can see the future, she's able to change it and all four of them escape. They end up going into the woods, a stolen taxi cab, a la Pineapple Express. Um, here's where uh, these wo these women have a little girl talk, and we get some uh, a glimpse into girl thinking. And um, we learn that the blonde's parents divorced. The Latina is an illegal alien whose parents are deported, but somehow she says she'll be fine once she reaches 18. And the black girl's parents are loaded, running a company that makes plastic and polluting the earth. Wah. The complaint here is they have no parents to parent them. At the same time, all we hear from these people is that uh, trad wives are bad. Anyway, I left the part out where these secretive uh, native spider people from the beginning of the movie says, she will return to learn the truth, which she does, and is told by the shaman Spider-Man that she has the power all this time to be in uh, multiple places at once. This comes handy in the finale when she's fighting the boss. It's a really stupid firework is able to blast through a brick wall. Um, and sh she doesn't even use her powers to defeat the bad guy. Um, she uses them to help her three friends and the building just collapses on him inconveniently or conveniently. Um, what I'm saying is that she didn't cause him. To, the building just collapses on him. She's again thrown into a river. This time she's saved by one of the girls, but she ends up blinded in a wheelchair. Uh, so the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey chick in the final scene 
uh, setting up the sequels becomes this Charles Xavier character who can see the future and uh, she's in a wheelchair, this mechanical wheelchair, I should say electric, you know, wheelchair. She sees the strong women and she's having a vision becoming superheroes who, and I'm quoting here, to fight what they believe in and to never give up. Yeah, so um, don't go see this movie. Um, I just told you what it's like. I mean, I, I the only reason to go see this movie is to check these chicks out. Anyway, uh, it's been fun talking to you today, uh, later, and brain out.